welcome back so in this video tutorial of latex on overleaf we'll see how we can create tables in latex on overleaf so i have this uh, particular code that is a document code for creating this particular kind of uh, table that you see here so now let's look into the code how does it look like so first i have a document class uh, like we always have in uh, start of a document we have a document class now here i have taken a uh, separate one that is scarctl so uh, like if you change the document classes you can render the document in different way so there are different types of uh, document classes that is available so according to your uh, choice like how you want your document to get rendered you can change the document class accordingly uh, so it's quite simple you can uh, look at the official website of overleaf what are the different document classes that are present and which are outdated so that you can uh, avoid any errors or warnings uh, when you compile any documents then you have the use package utf8 for encoding then uh, english package that is babel then you have book tabs so book tabs is a package which is especially used for making tables uh, in tabular format so like in rows and columns if you want in a uh, specific row or column to be visualized as you can see here so for that purpose uh, you should use the package book tabs then uh, there is xcolor xcolor doesn't have any much influence here uh, ams math is for mathematical symbol and this is another package which have an extended symbol list graphic x is for inserting images right now we are not inserting any images uh, yeah but there can be some dependencies between the packages when uh, these get updated then uh, there is a special package that is array and make cell so that i will uh, explain you uh, when we look into these columns uh, the entries that we put into this where uh, this helps us so uh, we have the title uh, that is machine learning that you can see here then the subtitle uh, you can put anything like ML models over you it's optional but title is mandatory then the author name and then today's date here uh, now uh, you begin the document okay so inside begin document always you have a make title command so that all the information the date the author name and the title gets printed here in the first header of the document then you have the section so section uh, signifies this thing okay like we have already seen in the document structure how section and subsection and subsec subsection are put into uh, different documents uh, then you have the begin table so uh, table definition always begins with this begin and inside that you have to put the value table and uh, this ht is a command so uh, to prevent floating inside this document so like if you have two pages of table or if it's extending then it can happen that when you enter some information into that table uh, it can break that particular page and go to the next page so it happens uh, very much so in order to prevent those things and uh, just to confine the table to that particular page itself we have to put some certain options so among one such option is ht then you have centering centering command is uh, used to uh, render the document at the very center of the uh, document that you can see uh, if you don't put centering then you can see some alignment issues with the left margin and right margin so in order to prevent those things you should put the centering command and then you have the begin tabular so make sure that you have begin table and inside a table you make tabular commands 
okay so now in tabular you pass certain arguments so uh, i will explain this arguments so the first thing the first pipe that you can see so this symbol is called as a pipe so that pipe is used to define this particular line if you can see my mouse i'll just uh, zoom in so this particular line the structure of this table is defined by this pipe okay then this c denotes center so if uh, you want to uh, put here that is algorithm to be appeared at the center you can do it like this or i can show you if i put l and if i render this you can see the algorithm shifted to the left likewise i can put it as r so r is for right right now it's at the center but since it doesn't make any sense to uh, shift to the left or to the right that's why it had no effect i will just apply to this itself that is r so the algorithm now move to the right hand side so these are the commands so if you uh, want even more columns you can do it accordingly so uh, yeah and there is a end pipe so end pipe denotes this particular line so if you remove that then it looks like your table is incomplete so something uh, like this you can see if you miss to put the pipe so like if you don't put the pipe here also so it looks something like this so yeah if you are okay with this style of the table you can go with it but if you prefer uh, even more defined way uh, you can put like this so let's go back to the original one yeah then uh, you have a h line so h line command is for horizontal line the horizontal line that you can see here that is the fine line of this cell that is defined by this h line if you comment this out you can see the line is vanished okay then comes the uh, column header so you have uh, these two that is algorithm okay and decision boundary so two column names so one i have made it bold so text bf and so ampersand is the separator for the table uh, uh, for the column headers and then comes the make cell so make cell is basically used to uh, dynamically organize your information within that particular cell without going out of the margin okay so you can wisely uh, make the adjustments accordingly so that your information whatever you write inside this table doesn't go out of uh, the table okay and then there are two h lines so two h lines are one for this and one for this so the first h line was for this one and the thing after that is for the line below that so you see it went away so it becomes a little difficult to uh, identify what is the uh, header names so for that you put h line h line okay then you have make cell so in make cell so you have some values like knife base and probabilistic classification so that is nothing but this thing okay so since because uh, the text is little larger so to make sure that doesn't uh, go outside of the cells of the table or the uh, columns of the table you can always put in make cell okay and text it is for italics so probabilistic classification you see that's in italics it's just for that then you have parametric or non parametric that is again in italics then you have an overfit okay and it's written when zero probability solved by laplace smoothing controlled by introducing priors map estimation is necessary to avoid overfitting and extreme probability values 
so this entire thing uh, so like if you can assume like this is a particular sentence so in order to break that sentence and it should appear one after the other not uh, making the table structure looking very distorted you can use make cell for that so that's where the make cell comes into picture okay so the entire thing is written in make cell so in order to uh, come to the new line or to break that particular uh, sentence like when zero probability so as you can see here when zero probability and at the next line you have solved by laplace smoothing so you have two slashes uh, which denotes the new line similarly controlled by introducing priors before that you have two slashes and similarly uh, whatever information you want to put you can just uh, dynamically organize within the cells with the help of this make cell command okay then you have uh, yeah uh, case 2 and case 3 the same thing here inside this particular table so yeah this decision boundary so for another entry you can put it here okay and there is an ampersand so now this particular thing is for one particular cell that is this cell for another one like you have mentioned here this is for decision boundary so the compiler identifies that this is for the another table so case 1 and case 2 goes here okay and then once that is done you have to put a line okay so you have a h line and then you have a make cell that is another entry into this that is decision tree id3 non-parametric and the overfit criteria uh, so this thing as you can see now it's readable if it goes outside of the column or if some column becomes uneven so in order to adjust that you can put the uh, make cell then uh, for this particular cell that is represented by you have some uh, notations mathematical notations that is a less than equal to x less than equal to b and c less than equal to y less than equal to d okay so this thing is written like this so so now uh, consider this as a mathematical expression so you have to write this in a mathematical way so in order to mathematically write it you have to put in a dollar okay so whatever is between dollar symbol is considered as a mathematical equation so this reads like a less than equal to leq is for less and equal to this command is for less equal to x less equal to b which is what you see here and then a comma and then another mathematical equation that is dollar c less equal to y less equal to d okay and then below you have squares and rectangles and then some uh, axis parallel boundaries okay so yeah and then similarly below uh, you have similar thing so it's just a notation like how you want to represent this thing uh, yeah so you can use emph for making it italics or text id text italic both are okay uh, like whatever you prefer yeah so this is uh, how you uh, insert or make a table and insert values into it and if it's a text information how you can organize it without breaking the margins or the other columns okay and then uh, yeah so once you have put all the information and uh, made a particular structure you can end the tabular first then you can put a caption that is classification algorithm the name it automatically takes now if now uh, this particular document is just for one page if there are two three pages and if in all pages we have some tables then it will take the table number i didn't uh, yeah accordingly so table one table two table three and so on and then you can put a label 
सो लाइक वाइज इफ यू हैव मल्टीपल टेबल्स इन ऑर्डर टू आइडेंटिफाई और पिन पॉइंट अ पर्टिकुलर टेबल यू कैन डिफाइन अ लेबल सो या सो दैट इज डिफाइंड बाई लेबल एंड टैप टी टू और टी वन लाइक वाइज यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई सो दैट लेटर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रेफरेंस दैट पर्टिकुलर टेबल इन एनी ऑफ द डॉक्यूमेंट लेटर बिलो you can make use of this label so that we'll see in another example where we uh, write a complete table for a proposal uh, like how we can reference these tables okay and then you have to end the table and i wrote something here but that i decided to not put into the table so that is commented out here and you end the document yeah so well that was all regarding uh, making a table in latex on overleaf so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thanks for your attention